All right, everybody, a new week means a whole new set of conference tournaments, and I've got five more futures for you here today on the Power Five, appropriately named, including a 20-to-1 long shot. Last week on the show, it was a profitable one, thanks to Stetson plus 300 uh, coming home in the A-Sun. Now we focus in on some of the bigger tourneys, and let's get right into it, because some of these tip off today, Tuesday, March the 12th. By the way, hi, I'm Brian Power, and all the odds I'm about to give out are courtesy of DraftKings. Shop around for the best prices, of course. All right, number one, Baylor plus 650 to win the Big 12. I went over this yesterday on Wager Talk TV, multiple shows, both the college basketball tip-off and pregame with KIV. Cliff Notes version is this. I wouldn't lay the chalky price with Houston in a tournament they don't need to win. Iowa State isn't the same team away from home. Banged up Kansas is a corpse right now. Don't trust Texas Tech. And everyone else I haven't mentioned would have to win four times in four days. Give me Baylor, who has the best offense of the conference, is fully healthy, and has a good path to the final. Number two, Fairfield, plus 300 to win the MAAC. That's the MAC. The Stags are the two seed and, like Baylor, have the best offense in their conference. This is a team that has not made the NCAA tournament since 1997, so maybe it's their time. And really... I like the draw for Fairfield, as top seed Quinnipiac is obviously in the other half of the bracket, as is the MAAC's hottest team, Ryder. Also, speaking of hot, since February 4th, Fairfield, 8-2 and two straight up. Those two losses were by a total of just five points. I like Fairfield to win the MAC at plus 300. Toledo, number three, plus 340 to win the MAC. This is the Mid-American Conference, my home conference. The Rockets are the top seed this week in Cleveland, a tournament I'll be attending Friday for both semifinals. If you're around, please uh, stop by and search me out. Maybe we can uh, meet up. And uh, anyway, Toledo, they were also the top seed last year, but lost in the final to Akron. Believe it or not, Toledo has not made the NCAA tournament even one time since the field expanded in 1985. I think this is their year. Can't really understand why they have the third best odds when Akron and Ohio, the only other two teams with a chance to win this tournament, are on the opposite side of the bracket. I would be positively stunned if the Rockets didn't at least get to the final again this year, at which point we could have a nice opportunity to hedge. Sticking with the theme of our previous two futures, Toledo, best offensive team in its conference. Number four. UConn, minus 135 to win the Big East. This will be our only chalk play of the conference tourneys where we're not getting a plus money return on our investment. But it's justified the price in this instance. UConn did not win the Big East tournament last year, so they can be a little motivated to do so this weekend. And looking at the rest of this field, gang, there's just not a lot to like. Marquette, they're not going to have Kolick. A finals matchup for UConn with Creighton, that would be a big revenge spot because UConn lost badly out in Omaha. So UConn would not roll over in that situation. You know, and you continue to look at the rest of the field. Who is there? St. John's? No thanks. Villanova? No thanks. UConn's price is just too short this weekend at MSG. This is a top two team in America. Give me UConn minus 135 to win the Big East. Number five, last but not least, as a matter of fact, this is the fattest odds we're giving out uh, on the show. It's our long shot. USC plus 2,000 to win the Pac-12. This has taken money. So shop around as I think you're going to be able to find better odds elsewhere. Again, those odds are cur current uh, as of this morning at DraftKings. Since February 1st, the Trojans are a top 20 team in the country per Torvik. They just beat Arizona. Now, there would be a rematch of that regular season finale in the quarterfinals, but if Uf USC, not UFC, USC can beat Arizona again, I think we're in phenomenal shape here because outside of Arizona or Colorado, who is uh, on the opposite side of the bracket, the Trojans couldn't meet them until the final. I don't think there's anybody in the Pac-12 that can beat USC right now. They're finally healthy. Andy Enfield has not playing up to their capabilities. Give me USC plus 2,000 to win the Pac-12. And that does it for the Power Five this week. One more time, just to run those five futures down. We got Baylor plus 650 to win the Big 12. Fairfield plus 300 to win the MAAC. Toledo plus 340 to win the MAC. UConn minus 135 to win the Big East. And USC plus 2,000 to win the Pac-12. If you're looking for daily college basketball winners, head on over to wt.buzz backslash bp. Use coupon code POWER3 at checkout. That code will get you the next three days for just $49. That's all of my college basketball, NBA, and soccer picks for only $49 for a three-day span. Considering the cost of one selection, 
a single play is typically $25. That's a deal that's too good to pass up from where I sit, especially since I'm number one in NBA over the last 30 days, hitting 70%. And I just want a perfect two for two with best bets in college over the weekend. So head on over to wt.buzz backslash BP, select a three-day pass, and use coupon code POWER3, that's P-O-W-E-R, number three, to start winning today. And that will do it for the Power 5 here on Wager Talk TV. Hope you enjoyed the show. So please smash that like button. Feel free to comment down below with your favorite conference tournament future. And if you already haven't done so, make sure you're subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel so that you'll miss any of our exclusive sports betting content. You can also find me on X at Brian Power underscore wins. Until next time, let's cash some tickets.